Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose n and k are integers, where 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n. Then, n choose k is an integer. Now, let's remind ourselves the definition of n choose k. Here's our definition. Suppose n and k are integers, where 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n. We define n choose k to be n factorial over k factorial times n minus k factorial. And in proving this theorem, we are going to use two properties of n choose k. Here's the first property. Suppose n is an integer where n is greater than or equal to 0. Then n choose 0 and n choose n are both equal to 1. Here's the second property we're going to use. Suppose n and k are integers where 0 is less than k is less than or equal to n. Then n plus 1 choose k is equal to n choose k plus n choose k minus 1. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, the way we're going to prove this is by induction on n. We're going to prove for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. We have that for all integers k such that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n, we have that n choose k is an integer. So really, we want to show that this is true for all integers n greater than or equal to 0. And we're going to show that by induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to prove that this is true in the case where n is equal to 0. Which means we want to prove for all integers k, where 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to 0. 0 choose k is an integer. So this is what we want to prove. And since we're trying to prove a statement about all integers k such that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to 0, let's give ourselves an arbitrary integer k such that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to 0. The whole goal from here is to show that 0 choose k is an integer. Well, since k is greater than or equal to 0 and k is less than or equal to 0, this tells us that k must be equal to 0. And so, if we compute 0 choose k, well, since k is equal to 0, we can substitute k for 0. And what's 0 choose 0 going to be? Well, according to lemma 1, 0 choose 0 is just equal to 1. And 1 is an integer. So this tells us that 0 choose k is an integer, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So putting this together, we see given an arbitrary integer k such that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to 0, it follows that 0 choose k is an integer. Since k was arbitrary, we have shown for all integers k, where 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to 0, 0 choose k is an integer. So we have proven precisely this statement. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary integer n greater than or equal to 0. And we assume that this statement is true for our arbitrary integer n. The whole goal of the induction step now is to show that this is also true for n plus 1. That is, we want to show that for all integers k, where 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n plus 1, we have that n plus 1 choose k is an integer. So, this is what we want to prove. 
And since we're trying to prove a statement about all integers k, such that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n plus 1, let's give ourselves an arbitrary integer k, such that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n plus 1. And the whole goal from here is to show that n plus 1 choose k is an integer. And to prove this, we're going to split this up into three cases. Either k is equal to 0, k is equal to n plus 1, or 0 is less than k is less than n plus 1. And in all three cases, we're going to show that n plus 1 choose k is an integer. Let's start with a case where k is equal to 0. Well, in this case, we have that n plus 1 choose k is equal to n plus 1 choose 0. And by lemma 1, n plus 1 choose 0 is equal to 1. And 1 is an integer. So n plus 1 choose k is an integer, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes case 1. Now let's move on to case 2, where k is equal to n plus 1. Well, in this case, n plus 1 choose k is equal to n plus 1 choose n plus 1. And by lemma 1, n plus 1 choose n plus 1 is equal to 1. And 1 is an integer. So this shows that n plus 1 choose k is an integer, which is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes case 2. Now let's move on to case 3, where 0 is less than k is less than n plus 1. Well, in this case, since k is less than n plus 1, and these guys are both integers, it is equivalent to say that k is less than or equal to n. Right? If you just decrease this guy by 1, it's equivalent to saying k is less than or equal to n. And so we see that 0 is less than k, which is less than or equal to n. And so because this inequality is true, this allows us to apply lemma 2, right? Because to apply lemma 2, we needed this inequality to be true. So we have that n plus 1 choose k is equal to n choose k plus n choose k minus 1. Now remember, the whole goal is to show that n plus 1 choose k is an integer. Well, if we can show that n choose k and n choose k minus 1 are both integers, well, we know that an integer plus an integer is equal to an integer. So that will show that n plus 1 choose k is an integer. But how do we show that these two guys are both integers? Well, maybe we can use our induction hypothesis. And to see how we can get to apply our induction hypothesis, well, we're first going to show that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n. Well, since 0 is less than k, we immediately know that 0 is less than or equal to k. And so 0 is less than or equal to k, which is less than or equal to n. In addition, since 0 is less than k and 0 and k are both integers, we know that this is equivalent to saying that 0 is less than or equal to k minus 1. Right, just decrease this guy by 1, and it's equivalent to saying 0 is less than or equal to k minus 1. And so we have that 0 is less than or equal to k minus 1, which is less than k, which is less than or equal to n. Now, this inequality tells that k minus 1 must be strictly less than n, and therefore k minus 1 is less than or equal to n. And so we have that 0 is less than or equal to k minus 1, which is less than or equal to n. So we have shown that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n, and we have shown that 0 is less than or equal to k minus 1, which is less than or equal to n. Why did we do that? Well, because now we can apply our induction hypothesis. Right? Our induction hypothesis works for all integers that satisfy this inequality. So in particular, since k is an integer that satisfies this inequality, we can take k to be k. And so we have that n choose k is an integer. Similarly, k minus 1 is an integer which satisfies this inequality. So we can take k to be k minus 1. And so we have that n choose k minus 1 is an integer.
And so, because n choose k and n choose k minus 1 are both integers, well, we have that an integer plus an integer is an integer, and therefore n plus 1 choose k is an integer. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So, in all three cases, we have shown that n plus 1 choose k is an integer. And so putting this all together now, we see given any integer k such that 0 is less than or equal to k is less than or equal to n plus 1, we have that n plus 1 choose k is an integer. So we have proven precisely this statement, and so this completes the induction step. And so, because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. And so, we have proven that this statement is true. And the fact that this statement is true tells us that the theorem is true. So this completes the proof. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.